All right, on our south down, now we're ready to tackle the head. And it's very important, especially on the south downs, in terms of breed character that we get the head sheared correctly. We don't want to take too much off the nose. We don't want to leave too much on the ears. We want to blend everything in naturally. Right here, where the little scurs can be, uh, the south down is a polled breed. And sometimes we still have these little indentions here, so we want to just smooth straight over the top of those and leave it very smooth. The big thing that we want to get is the hair, any chalkiness that we have around the eye, get the eye cleaned up really good. In terms of breed character on a south down, they like a very wide nose, very angular, triangular shaped square, uh, triangular shaped head. And so that's what we want to try to accomplish. We don't want to leave a lot of wool on the ears, but the breed character on a south down does have wool on the ears, so we want to leave just a slight amount. I like to try to do all I can do with the head in the rack, and so that makes it easier on everybody. This south down, his nose shape, the bridge of his nose is really wide. He has really good breed type. So we're just using a brand new fine set of combs on him. If I wanted to leave it a little bit longer, this is where I would use the medium, A2 medium set of blades on his head, especially right in here on his nose. Um, as far as wool, I'm gonna blend this wool in on his ears as I come off his skull into his ear, and then we'll come back and, and clean that up. Just Once I get the top of his head, I like to loosen our head stanchion, let it down just a little bit to get a little more room to work with. That way I don't take a chance on hitting my combs and my clippers on the, the side of this rack. When we're shearing the South Downs head, all South Downs are gonna have some white hair here around the eyes, as well as fine wools and crossbreds. So it's real important when we're shearing is we get around this eye channel Right in through here, we get that cleaned out very well. And again, when I get in here on the ear, I'm going to lay my clippers flat. I'm not going to put them down on that bevel. I'm going to lay them flat and go straight out. I want to leave just a little slight covering of wool on these ears to match the South Down breed type. When we get on the ears, the South Downs have to supposedly have to have a very small triangular shaped ear. I like to take and trim just on the inside and get some of these little hairs off that very edge.
Okay, I've pretty much gotten everything that I can get on his head. Now I'm going to take him out. It's always a good idea to have somebody stand back behind you or put him back down on the ground so we can shear underneath his chin and around underneath his ears. You have to turn your clippers a little bit at an angle to get underneath his chin there. Okay, you can see, hold that shot. On this side of the eye, we got it cleaned out very well, okay? And then over here, we still have lots left. And a lot of times, on, on all these sheep, they're gonna have just a little bit of, of white hair around this eye area below the eye, and that's where we wanna make sure and we get all this area cleaned out good. Okay, I still have a little too much wool on this ear. I'm gonna take and, and blend it in just a little bit more. Now, like we did on his body, we're gonna go back over him, feel with our hands, see if we can feel any rust spots, and go back and clean up anything that we might have missed. Right here where his neck joins his body is often hard to get. A couple different ways while you're holding him loose, you can let his head down. Uh, if you want to keep him up on the table, so what I like to do is put my knee right here under his breast and push him backwards and that allow that to be straight. On our south downs, when we're, when we're finishing up shearing, I always want to go back and look at the head. It's really important that I get as much around this eye cleaned up in terms of, of any white hair that they might have. I want to make sure that I trim here on his muzzle, on his nose. I've got all the long hairs trimmed there. One of the big things that our classifiers look at is going to be the width and the shape of the head, the width of the bridge of the nose. <laughs> and we want them to have a little bit of wool covering on their ears. So anytime we're shearing, whether a south down, a fine wool or a fine wool cross, we want to make sure that we help every way we can to accentuate the breed character of that particular breed when we're shearing them. You may have to use some of these little clippers as we go through, uh, depending on what your lamb. And so what we used on him was a brand new set of fine combs and it left plenty of wool on this lamb he has good breed type. I've made sure and get all the long hairs around his muzzle. You can kind of tell this mousy gray color on his nose is the ideal in terms of south down breed type. The type of head that this lamb has, the ears are small and angular shaped. 
And so this lamb doesn't have any breed type uh, problems that we need to worry about, but we want to make sure and get everything cleaned up around his eyes and through his head.